Ezekiel Elliott season. Proof positive of why you need to tune into the live streams. Yesterday, uh, those who did join me for the live stream, I, I pushed Ezekiel Elliott as a starting option, uh, theorizing that he would really just be the entire offense for the Patriots yesterday. And while he wasn't the entire offense and there were other contributions, the offense did run through Elliott. He put up 27 PPR fantasy points in a monster game, both uh, you know, really primarily through receiving. And he also got 22 carries on the ground. So just a great start to the week. If you started Elliott like I did, um, trying to fight for a buy at my friends and family league, guys, hit that subscribe button. We have a live stream again today, uh, this afternoon. So make sure you tune in for that as we uh, wrap up the injury report. Uh, but as far as the Patriots are concerned, this was an impressive win. Like, I mean, they did all their scoring in the first half, but they held on for a 21 8 Team win over the Steelers. The Steelers damaging loss second week in a row. They're now seven and six, and it's going to be tough for them now to make the playoffs with um, Kenny Pickett out. And you know, listen, we know Kenny Pickett is one of the worst starting quarterbacks in the NFL, but he is not as bad as Mitch Trubisky. And again, every time I watch him. I, I uh, come back to the fact that the, the Chicago Bears drafted Trubisky over not only Deshaun Watson, but Pat Mahomes uh, in his draft class, which is just unbelievable to even think about. Trubisky, uh, 22 at 35, 190 yards, a touchdown and a pick. Um, you know, he, he did run for a score on the ground as well. So he did account for two scores, uh, Trubisky, but I mean, he was missing guys wide open all night long, and, and it's just going to be a struggle there. Bailey Zappi, on the other hand, 19-28, 240 yards, three touchdowns. We had seen the last of Mac Jones in a Patriots uniform. Um, Zappi was really good. Like, And this is a tough Steelers defense. And if you started the Steelers defense, you thought, all right, I'm going to get off to a great start this week, right? The Patriots suck. They got shut out last week against the Chargers of all teams. Um, and you only get four fantasy points in a standard Yahoo setup. So, um Really, really disappointing start there. As far as the Patriots, listen, it was Hunter Henry, three catches for 40 yards, two touchdowns. He was the star there. Juju Smith-Schuster uh, took himself out of mothballs, uh, four for 90. But Ezekiel Elliott, and again, yesterday I was asked a ton of questions. Should I start him? I said, yes, I'm starting him. And he re uh, reeled off 22 carries for 68 yards. Not great, 3.1 a carry, but seven catches for 72 yards and a touchdown. He scored a touchdown on, on uh, early in the first quarter. Uh, on a uh, passing play, and he looks spry. Like Elliot, and I've said this before, he's got some more juice in his legs this season. He looks a little bit better, uh, and it's going to be a multi-week absent for Madre Stevenson So with his high ankle sprain. So Elliot's got some staying power the next couple of weeks. As far as the Steelers, uh, Deontay Johnson, 3 for 57 in the score, so he made the most of limited opportunities. Uh, Pat Fryer, 3 for 18. I know he had that one huge game, but it's over. Just cut him loose. I'm, I'm not playing anybody on the Steelers, really, in this receiving game. Um, and how about, you know, Najee Harris, Jalen Warren, this was the strength of the team. Well, Harris, who was beat up coming in, 12 carries for 29 yards, 2.4 a pop, uh, three catches for 19. Jalen Warren, again, another dud. Is he wearing down? Seven carries for 11 yards, um, four catches for 29. So a dud for him as well. Like nothing worked for the Steelers yesterday. And this was an embarrassing loss, a damaging loss for their playoff chances. Guys, hit that subscribe button. Tune in for the live stream later on. I will see you later.